All right, on the back of your notes, it discusses what slope-intercept form is. Okay, so slope is always with the x value. So what does m represent? B, there's no reason why we use the letter B, but B is representing what value? The y-intercept, good. Okay, so that's just looking at it as the equation. If we look at it on a graph, what is the slope of this equation here? What's the intercept? Two. Two. When we ask for the slope, you don't say the variable with it. It's just the coefficient, so it's just three. And the intercept is just two. All right, so they're showing us an illustration of where you get slope intercept from. You see how this is the y-axis that's vertical? And they're pointing this uh, blue box to this point here. Where is this crossing at? The two. The two. And what is that? The y-intercept. The y-intercept is crossing at two. All right, now, if we were to calculate slope, you see they gave us an ordered pair here and up here. How far up is this? Three. Three. And how far over? Two. It's only over one. Look at the hash marks. It's only over one. So 3 over 1, and that's where they got this fraction 1 from. And 3 divided by 1 is 3. And so that is representing the slope. The slope is going to be formed by this triangle. Do you see the triangle it's forming? Okay. Okay. So let's talk about um, finding another triangle on this graph. Put a point at negative 1, negative 1. Yeah. Okay, and let's count how far up and over to this very last point that they already labeled for us. So how far up? One. This is one, two, three, four, five. So it was up six. And how far over? Three. One. Two. Now we do rise over run. How far do we rise? How do we run? What's six divided by two? So did the slope change? No. Why not? Yeah, it's still it's still the same line that it was created with, right? Okay, so they're going to all be proportional. So we have a, a triangle here for 6, 2, and then we have a triangle here for 3, 1. But they're, they're similar triangles. All right, so when we get back is when we're going to use our colored pencils for this next part.